My name is uh, Sunday Adelaja. Uh, I'm a pastor uh, of and the pastor and the founder of a church that is called the Embassy of God Church here in Kiev, Ukraine. I've been in this country for the past. about living it's not just living it's leaving your whole life behind you know it's just like taking myself my shell my body out but my whole life endeavor my whole life achievement my whole work that everything that i've built all these years building the largest country the largest church in the country not just member i left my all my members behind the church, church building that is costing millions, many church buildings, my own house that is also, you know, I mean, all by my clothes, you know, everything. My wife, she didn't even take, you know, maybe we only took toothpaste and the few, you know, and, you know, she didn't, you know, we couldn't take anything. You just leave your own life behind. No, it's, it's worse than anything. You could imagine, and you would not wish your enemy that. I was in my house, and out uh, military uh, bases around my house. I my, we lived just about ten minutes away from military bases. From five o'clock, from the very first bomb, we woke up. So my house and around us, everybody living around Kiev, you were woken up by the blast and the explosions and the sounds uh, that started the very same minute they started six o'clock you know uh in the morning on wednesday there's nobody who can forget that day. if it had it not been if i had just been an ordinary person i would have remained like now in my house as we are talking we have a lot of africans students and africans living in ukraine they are in my in the basement of my house right now in my house we have a bunker uh like a secure place so they are there and but apart from uh, Africans and Nigerians that are in my house, even Ukrainians are also in my house. And Ukrainians living in the neighborhood of, of, of ours, they come to hide on the, in the basement of my house as we are talking right now. But personally, I have to live for my, my wife because of the personality, because of my profile. Uh, we escaped, first of all, by a car. It was a big thing to even get petrol and fuel because you know it's almost impossible to get that and if you don't have fuel the transport the transportation is is locked down you cannot get transportation taxis some people try to use taxis you they, they, we wait on the line for hours for days just to get from one place where you could have gone within 30 minutes to another because the whole country is like the whole country is trying to escape so uh, uh sometimes i had to come out of the car and walk and run and you know you have to so so sometimes you are in the car sometimes you are on your feet sometimes you are running sometimes you are walking just need to do everything you need to do to to find a safer place especially when you are already not in the house the only thing you can guarantee in life is change things will change things will come and go things will come and go so we know that things will change eventually when how we don't know i don't know if i will ever see you train again I don't know if I'll ever see my house again. I don't know if I'll ever see my members again. I don't know if I'll ever see the streets. The, I mean, I left Nigeria when I was 19 years old. I am 55 right now. I've lived in the country for 36 years. So things will, will never be the same. The place will never be the same again.